welcome viewers to a featured product presentation. In today's video, I feature the release of the second model of the Lepau 1080p Type-C portable monitor from my previous video. This portable monitor connects to your mobile phone and tablets, gaming consoles, mini PCs, and even your desktop computers. It uses USB Type-C and HDMI input to produce HD 1080p display and it also has built-in speakers. In this latest model called the Lepau Z1 Gamut, they have upgraded the color gamut by 60% with embedded quantum dot enhancement film that produces a broader color spectrum and gives viewers better enjoyment while playing videos and games. In this video, I'll do a quick unboxing, then we'll have a look at its design, button placement and ports. Then I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison with the first model to see if there are any noticeable visual enhancements in the display quality. So don't go anywhere. You have that and more right after this. So these are the contents you get inside the box. You get the portable monitor itself and a magnetic kickstand. You get one HDMI to mini HDMI cable. 1 Type-C to Type-C cable, you get 1 USB to Type-C cable, a 5V 2A DC power adapter, a patch insulation and cleaning kit, a screen protector, a user's guide, warranty card, support card, additional accessories card, and a frequently asked questions card. Let's now take a look at its design, ports and button placement. The body is made entirely of metal, which is a critical feature because the kickstand is magnetic. The actual display size is 13 and a half inches wide by seven and three quarter inches tall by 15 and a half inches diagonal. And below here you have the Li Pao branding. To the left side, starting from the bottom, you have a headphone jack, one full function display type C port, one micro HDMI port, and the left internal speaker. On the right side, you have a power button, a roll key, a Type-C charging only port, and the right internal speaker. To the back of the monitor is blank. The kickstand is magnetic and it comes with slots to secure the angle you wish to place it in. So to demonstrate a few ways you can use this portable monitor, I'll first connect it to my mobile phone with a Type-C port, then I'll connect it to an Android TV box, and then to a Windows mini PC with a dual display and do a side-by-side -side picture comparison with its previous model. First, I'll connect it to a mobile phone with a Type-C charging port, and you can choose to power the monitor using reverse charging, which simply means that the phone uses its battery power to power the monitor, or you can use the included power adapter that will power the monitor and charge your mobile phone simultaneously. Depending on which phone you are using, in this case, I'm using a Samsung S8 Plus. You have the option to mirror your mobile phone, or you can use its desktop mode and use your mobile phone like a laptop. Please note, if you are using the reverse charging feature on your mobile phone to power the monitor, it will diminish your phone's battery life quicker than usual. I'll now play a high quality YouTube video sample, then I'll play an Android game and we'll get a look at its picture quality and also get to hear the audio quality coming from the internal speakers.
I will now connect it to the Nvidia Shield and play some 4K videos. And finally, here I'm connected to the new B-Link GTR Mini PC with the new Z1 gamut here on the left and I've placed the previous model here on the right. I've duplicated both displays so that we can compare the color and the picture quality of both monitors. What I can say is that when looked at with a naked eye, you can see a difference in color and depth. However, the camera's AI tends not to show much of a difference. So I'll now play some videos with lots of color to see if you can identify any difference. So if you were looking closely enough, especially during the soccer game, you could see that the colors were a bit richer on the Z1 gamut. So there's definitely an improvement in the color scheme, but not by much. As they said, it's around 60% difference. Also, if you are not satisfied with the color scheme, you have the option to enter the monitor's menu and adjust the settings.
In summary, the Lapau Z1 Gamut has the exact design as its previous model and the only improvement is that it has slightly better display. There are many ways in which you can apply this portable monitor for everyday work and entertainment. So if you would like to get your hands on the new Lipao Z1 Gamut along with the previous model at a reduced price, see the links I've placed in the description below this video. Thanks for watching. Give this video the thumbs up if you enjoyed the presentation. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell before leaving if you have not already done so. And stay tuned for more TV Box Top presentations.